Okay, I decided I'm going to walk, time, video my walk into town from here because um, it's a great walk. So if you are like me and you like your exercise living in this house um, here in Brisa del Pacifico, it's easy to walk in and out of town from it. It only took me 10 minutes to get here. And you have nice neighbors. Look at this house. I'm doing some work down there. So this is a beautiful house here and the, you've got nice views along the road going down. So, also part of having a, you know, a house here is, is who are your neighbors? What do your neighbors look like? So now you get to see. This is a beautiful house and there's three nice, really nice houses all along here. So. Here's the second nice house. These houses were all built by the same builder. They're all the, the basically the same style. So with a few modifications on the entrance and stuff, but I like them because they have garages. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in the first world with a garage door opener up here. So, but nice, nice landscaping through here. So, and then the guy, this house recently sold and the owners of it also own these two lots below and so the owner then bought ended up buying the other two lots below also because they decided they wanted to control what happens below their house so which is something a lot of other developers will do so and then here as you're walking down this is in Brisa del pacifico up here is santa cruz which is a really nice place. It's um, got very similar style to the house I just showed you, uh, where they're kind of on stilts and it's a loft bedroom upstairs and then a small bedroom, much smaller bedroom downstairs, but, uh, or just a laundry room downstairs. So the, the house was built um, kind of to resemble the Santa Cruz houses because my client, when I showed it that to her, she loved it but the price was too high for her. So then we ended up buying land and, and designing a house that was very similar in style to the Santa Cruz houses. So, so if you're familiar with Santa Cruz, you know that. And then here is the guard gate. There's always somebody here at the gate for this development. So it gives you a little bit of security, not a lot, but a little bit. And then you just bring your trash down and you drop your trash off here. So. The HOA fees in the development are $600 a year, and all the roads are paved. The utilities are underground in about half of the development. The other half, they're above ground. So the lower half where the house is, it's still above ground, but there's no utility poles in front of the house, just behind. So nothing, nothing messes with your view there. But this is just a little, this is called Barrio La Planta that I'm coming into once I get off the paved road here. Um, it's got a bunch of little houses. A lot of expats rent places here. A lot of the, the Nicaraguans have added um, second floors onto their house and then they rent the second floor out to foreigners. So um, there's a lot of expats that live in this, this little area. So. Uh, I walk through here all the time, never felt unsafe. It's just a, a very nice little neighborhood. Um, you know, obviously you don't want to walk through here at one in the morning drunk off your butt, but uh, <laughs> during the daytime, early evening, kids are playing in the streets in the evenings here, so, because there's just not a lot of traffic. And um, it's just a nice neighborhood. So, but yeah, you can see people added second floors on to their properties here and there and then there's a there's a little development up here that's got several rental houses in it that a lot of foreigners rent at hola access back there
here's one where they're adding a second floor, but it's not finished yet. So. But yeah, when I first moved here, this barrio was a lot rougher, but now that so many expats are moving into it, it's been polished a lot. And I hear they added th two stories up, so they went three stories. So. But this is the development where a lot of expats rent little houses in it. So a bunch of little wooden houses in here. I uh, can't think of the name of the development right now. But it, it's about six, six or seven houses, I think. Um, so but yeah, lots of foreigners rent in here. And then this is a nice house here across the street. Hola. I like the garage door, it's beautiful wood. <coughs> and here's the entrance into the little development where they got parking for several vehicles. So there's several little wooden houses up there and an empty lot here. Hola! So not a bad neighborhood. And my ultrasound technician that gives me an ultrasound every month, his office is in this building here. He works in a hospital in Managua. So when he gets back to San Juan, late afternoons, early evenings, he has his own machine and he does ultrasounds. And it's only 800 Cordoba for an ultrasound. And up there's La Bay. So I'm not sure if I said that right, but it's a condo project. So, And then here is SOS Animales or animals, people say it, but animales in Spanish. And it's a vet clinic where they do free spay and neuter for local street dogs. Um, they'll do it for foreigners, but they ask for a donation, a fee for doing that. But they have greatly improved the health of the, the street animals here. Um, they actually go out, hola, go out and um, collect the street cats and dogs and neuter them for free. And it, it's cut down on the stray population here tremendously. So This is a warehouse here where they receive fish and stuff. So they're doing some work on it. So right down there is the backside of Hotel Victoriano. Now this is the backside here of Sunset Hotel which when I first moved here in 2006 this building used to be the police station so now the police station have a brand new building well they moved out to where the Alcadia is oh probably in 2007 or 8 and then about two years ago they had a brand new building built across from the Alcadia off of the Chocolata Road so but this is now Sunset Hotel and the money they make from it goes to the pension fund of the police. So, and here I am. I'm at the, the port area. There's Banfro Bank. you got the little park here. So it um, took me 8 minutes and 44 seconds to walk down the hill and get to here. And my office is just 2 minutes down the street. So... Um, <coughs> Here we are at the Bay of San Juan del Sur, and my office is just down there right before the five-story building, so uh, not a bad walk into town at all. Easy to get a taxi ride home at night if you've had a couple drinks or something, but um, just a beautiful, beautiful area, beautiful view of the town. Got Dockside over there, and Twannies, and Sun King, and this is like a food court area here where you got the bus, so nice, nice area to be at. I love my life. Come join me. <laughs> <laughs>